How and why you should get started with ConfUI today. Money is always a great reason. Of course, artistic expression to fulfill your creative dreams is also a great point. Let me know in the comments if you can see your future as a professional ConfUI workflow builder. For example, right now there's a contest going on for ConfUI workflows with a prize pool of $13,000. And yours truly is part of the judges for this contest. You can see here is me. There is also Scott Detweiler who is actually working for Stability AI. So he is one of the big minds in the AI world. Matteo down here who is the developer of the IP adapter. Akatsuzio in here. She's very good at creating notes for ConfUI. And then also Groxer is in here. He's also a workflow guru. Also part of my Discord community. The content is made by OpenArt AI. It is running until the 15th of December. So you have quite some time to develop a nice workflow and maybe win some money. This is the prize pool over $13,000, five different categories in four special awards. Here on the right side, you can see the categories like for example, art, design, marketing, fun, and photography, but then also the special awards for using IP adapter or animate diff or the new stable video diffusion in your workflows. You can get a special award for that. And then also, of course, for the most innovative workflow out there. Submitting your entry is very easy and free. Down here, you have the upload your workflow button. This is going to bring you to this page where you upload the JSON file or the workflow image. Below that, you want to enter the name and then there has a text area here that suggests what kind of information they want about that workflow. And at the end of it, you can upload a thumbnail. Now you can upload here JPEGs, PNGs and GIFs, which is also good for video workflows. Personally, I would also make a screenshot of your workflow and upload it also as a thumbnail here so that the judges, but also the other users of the page can easier see what you're building. For inspiration, you can also go to their already existing database of ConfUI workflows. There's amazing stuff on there. You can see there's also categories here like SVD, LC, CM, Animate, Diff, Control Net, IP Adapter, and so on. And you can find amazing workflows like this one here, for example, that turns an old photo into a new colorized photo that is also higher resolution. How amazing is that? Now in each of these pages, you can see on the right side a download button. Right below that you have the notes that are used and also a list of the custom notes that are used. And when you scroll a little bit lower, you can also see here a note diagram that is zoomable. So you can look into how this is actually built before you download it. Now let's talk a little bit more about the money part apart from this contest. So building a workflow in ConfUI allows to do a lot of complex things inside of one workflow in an automation. So it's running through all of these steps. And this means this is actually a money maker for you because right now, out there on the market. There's a lot of companies, but also individuals that are searching for people who can build workflows for them because a prompt only brings you so far. There is a lot more included in getting a nice high quality result from an AI model. So building a workflow that has the full process in it is very useful. This is great for automation. This is exactly what customers want to have from you. And of course, there is the part of artistic freedom. So let's talk about that for a second. As I said, inside of ConfUI, you can build the process specifically for what you need and then save the complete workflow. So you can come back later to that. You can share it with the community. You can also sell it to customers. Here, for example, I wanted to have a workflow that turns a simple drawing into a high resolution image. It has also face restore and ultimate upscaler, everything in one process being created for me by one click. Now, the good thing here is I can also arrange everything that is most useful for me. So here I have my prompt input and my render settings and I see the output right away. But you can also see that I'm rendering it again with a second model for higher resolution. And then I'm doing upscaling and then face detail and even sharpening the image afterwards so that when I found an image that I really like, 
I can turn all of this part here on to get a higher quality and then get this output here from that image that can be super useful. Here's another workflow that I created. This was for the task that I want to have a photo and I want to keep the face of the person but replace the background and the clothing. So for that I build a workflow where I'm using a depth map and then also I using a body tracking and face tracking. I'm using face detailer to automatically track the face. And then you can see here that the image is rendered in multiple steps again. So first it is creating the image with the background and then it is refining it a little bit. And afterwards, this is again going into an ultimate upscaler with some sharpening. So we are ending up with a higher resolution image that is using the original face of the person, but completely replacing the setting and also the clothing of the person, which gives me a huge flexibility to work with photo models and put them in all kinds of settings. Settings. So as you can see for artistic reasons, this is very useful because the full process is saved. I can refine it over time, make iterations, and I don't have to note down every single step by hand. This will conserve everything I have done, but also allow me to build solutions for the specific problems I have. And of course, the interesting thing here is, as you've already seen with these applications, they can be used in a huge variety of purposes. For example, the last workflow I showed you is ideal for being used in marketing and advertisement. So again, there's a nice artistic opportunity, but also a money opportunity. Now that we have talked about why to get started with ComfyUI, here's how to get started with it. Now, one thing I can promise you about ComfyUI is it looks complex, but it's actually very simple. The good thing about ComfyUI is it is a portable AI UI. So on the GitHub page for ComfyUI, you can scroll down. You find here install ComfyUI, click on that. And this will bring you to this section here. The first one is about Windows. You can see here it says portable standalone built for Windows. So you simply want to download the 7-zip file, unpack that and then run it. The reason why this is called a portable standalone build is because this is including its own Python. You don't have to install that. Everything is being set up for you and then you can run ComfyUI right away. Now here's the second part that I highly suggest to you. It's called ComfyUI Manager. This will help you to install all the custom nodes that the builds are using that you're downloading from the internet. Now this is very easy to do. When you have installed ComfyUI on your computer, you want to go into the ComfyUI Windows Portable folder in there into the ComfyUI folder and then in there into the custom notes folder. When you are in the custom notes folder in the address bar, you want to type CMD and hit enter. This will open up your command window. In here, you will simply type git clone and then add the address from the ComfyUI manager on GitHub and hit enter. This will download all of the files for you. And afterwards, you're simply restarting ComfyUI. Now, when you restart ComfyUI, on the right side, you see this window here that has a lot of different settings, for example, save and load different workflows that you have built. And now below that, you have a manager button. Click on that and you can see here that you can, for example, update all, which is going to update your ComfyUI, but then also update all of the nodes and custom nodes that you have installed. And then up here, you can see buttons for install custom node, install missing custom node. The missing custom node is always referring to the workflow that you have loaded right now. And then you can also install models from here if you want. So when you click on that, you can see that you find here a long list of different models that you can download, for example, control net models and so on. So with this ComfyUI manager, you should actually be easily able to install any custom node you need. If you want to install custom nodes outside of a workflow, you can click here on install custom nodes. This will open up this window here. Up here you have a search bar where you can search for what kind of node you want to install. So for example, for the ultimate upscaler, I type ultimate and then here I have the fitting node pack for that. On the right side, here's an install button. I already have it. This is why it says uninstall 
or disable. If you have already automatic 1111 or other UIs installed, inside the ConfUI Windows Portable folder and in there in the ConfUI folder, you will find a file called extra model paths.yaml. Right click on that and open it up with a text editor. I'm using Notepad, which is a very good and free software. And in there, you have this list here. You can see here the checkpoints, configs, VAEs, the LORAs, the upscale models, and so on. And you can set this to custom add addresses so that ConfUI is loading all of these models and settings from these specific locations. Save the file and then restart ConfUI. Now, if you ever run into problems with a note pack, simply go in there and then uninstall the note pack and reinstall the note pack. And this should fix the problem for you. Also, another reason something might not work for you is that it's outdated. So clicking on the update all button before you start to uninstall and install notes is actually a good way to fix problems and get the newest versions of these note packs. Another good thing about ConfUI is that every time you generate an image like this one here, the complete workflow is saved as metadata inside of that image. So you can simply drag that image into the ConfUI canvas to load the complete workflow. Now, this is really good because when you experiment a lot with different kinds of builds or even different kinds of settings and prompts that you're using, this is always saved in the image. So you can go back in time, look at the image you created and you can always figure out what exactly you did by simply dragging that image into the ConfUI canvas. Of course, another element that makes ConfUI so useful is that this gives you a deep dive into understanding how AI works, but also an experimentation kit that kind of works like Lego, where you can figure out all kinds of different ways to play with AI, but also maybe use AI in a way it's not even intended to be used to arrive at solutions that only you can build because the nodes and the workflow is such a big part of the resulting image that you can actually just through workflows create things that look like magic to other people. And this is proprietary knowledge that you have created while building the workflow. Now to get you started into a deeper dive of how to use these nodes, I want to suggest to you to look at the Akatsuzi workflows. She built workflows for SD 1.5 that are rising in complexity. You can download this from Civit AI. As you can see here, there's a simple template, intermediate template, advanced template. So it's rising in complexity. And these workflows flow from the left side to the right side so that it's easy for you to understand what is happening inside of the workflow inside of the nodes. So that is a great way to start with ConfUI and understand what is going on. She also built a set of these workflow templates for SDXL. Again, this is following the same concept going from left to right with simple, intermediate and advanced. This is a very, very good way to get started understanding better what you can do. Now, of course, you could say I can do all of that with Automatic 1111. The thing here is, first of all, Automatic 1111 happens in different tabs. So it's not just one complete workflow or process that you can save in an image. It is different steps that you might forget what you actually did in the past. But the second part is even more important is by experimenting around with these nodes. You have so much freedom you have so much ability to create your own solutions for your problems that you will arrive at new creative ways to work with AI. And this is actually a lot more artistic and genuine in the way that you can create things because this is how you want to work with AI. And for that reason, it is giving you a lot more understanding, ability, and again, proprietary solutions that in the end can also result in money. So that is always a good thing. If you have more questions about ConfUI, join my Discord server where I have a very dedicated community talking about all kinds of problems, experiments, solutions, and artistic inspirations. Let me know in the comments what you are using ConfUI for. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.